What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Jade Drama score, and we're back with another tune from the Mozu show. Mozu translating to Shrike, which is a type of bird. I mentioned it before, the sort of <clears throat> metaphorical visual theme that sort of ties kind of the show together. It relates to this type of bird that impales its prey and sort of, you know, comes back and eats it at its own leisure and it's, you know, sort of this macabre kind of thing, but it happens in nature and one of the characters is obsessed with that or, um, yeah, bottom line, I really don't want to talk about the show's detail too much because, like, if I could ever recommend people go out and find Mozu, the TV show, not the movie. I mean, the movie's cool, <coughs> but again, it's the, it's the story of season one condensed into, like, one-tenth of the time, so... Uh, in any case, uh, I highly recommend it. It's just, you know, the most wicked neo-noir, um, the highest production qualities you could imagine. Every episode looks fantastic. The acting is great. The writing is great. And it, like, again, it's like, neo like people, you know, drinking alcohol in, like, dimly lit rooms and, you know, talking about, like, nefarious things and, you know, people are smoking. Like, just everything about it is, is just that classic noir, but in a modern idiom and modern production values. It's brilliant. Um, so we're going to listen to a tune from the soundtrack. Um, it is track number two. All, this, all the names, I mentioned it before, uh, except for, like, maybe three... Yeah, it's the three different versions of the Mozu track are, like, written in Romaji, meaning Japanese and... Um, Latin, the Latin alphabet, uh, but most of the rest are written in kanji or hiragana. Thankfully, um, you know, I found a track list online, and so I've been able to, you know, figure out what they all translate to, and it's interesting, because, like, literally every translated phrase is relevant to the show, like, very specifically. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna listen to a tune, uh, Shinjutsu no Danpan, which means Peace of Truth. Um, so yeah, Shinjutsu no Danpan, uh, and no is kind of like, it's a conjunction, it's not no in the, like, English sense of the word, uh, but yeah, it means piece of truth, um, which, you know, it's one of those things where as they're unraveling, they being the, the, all, the most I'll say about the show is there's, like, three main detective characters, they all kind of come from different places within the Japanese police, they, none of them really trust each other, um, it, again, there, there are some analogs to True Detective Season 1, which I mentioned and maybe even True Detective Season 2 more. Um, but bottom line, um, yeah, there's three main detectives, and at first they're sort of drawn into this case, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an act of terrorism that's happened right at the beginning of the show. There's a bomb that goes off, and it seems to be a deliberate act of terrorism, but it's, it's not really clear exactly who's responsible and so on. So these three people are kind of brought in, brought in to figure out what happened. But the, the more they look into the matter, um, they do start to get along at least a little bit. They start to work together. Um, the more they look into the matter, one, it seems like there may be some people in government or police involved. And number two, um, it seems like maybe there's some people that don't want them to solve this. Um, so again, it's just very murky, very dark. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to listen to a tune, Piece of Truth, which I think speaks to that, the nature of the show where like even when they figure something out it's only like one facet of the truth and over time they come to see that some of the things they've been learning it's like yeah they're true but there's so much more context that you know would let us um, understand what's really going on here so um, I do like that title and obviously like I said it, it like many of the other tunes very much relates to the subject matter of the show so here we go this is piece of truth um, from uh, Kano Yugo's soundtrack for the 2013 show Mozu. Feels like the devastation after a bomb's gone off and you're just surveying the waste, the... The devastation.
cold smoke around it. Honestly, that that piece I think really captures a lot of the vibe of the show. It's like, you know, something bad has happened. You know, maybe you know you're trying to get clarity from what's happened, but the more you learn, the more it's like, oh my god, did that really happen? Um, yeah, I really think it captures the sort of the general atmosphere and sort of um, the vibe of the show. So yeah, it's a cool tune. Um, obviously, it's a shorter one. It's used in some dramatic moments in the show, but I don't think it's used like always consistently in like one type of scene and I have to say like you know when I've talked about that concept where like oh in some J dramas the same piece will show up in the same kind of scene every episode well this is less like that in that this is not an episodic show so much it's you know like a lot of shows it's like oh what's the case for this one episode and like maybe there's some longer arc stories playing out but each episode is in some sense like a self-contained like story this is not like that. This is like one fuck off, like crazy story that's told over the course of like 10, kind of 11, 11 episodes, which I say because the first episode is double long. It's like an hour and a half instead of 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, so it's not like, you know, each episode doesn't have like, oh, who's the bad guy for this episode or whatever. It, it's, it's again, just one long story. So um, yeah, it's, it's a little different in that like some J dramas will like, have a piece for every type of scene, and you kind of hear them in the same configuration every episode. This isn't like that. You do, it's just like tonal and like, you know, thematic. When certain developments happen, like, you'll get like a certain, like one of the pieces in the score. But yeah, bottom line, it's used in a couple different places, um, but just a cool tune, and I like the grit and the sort of uh, the dark sonic quality of it. So yeah, let me know if you agree, let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time.